today I'm going to present my school project, which is a pulley. In our school project, we had to build a pulley, which could do three basic things. Lift a load, have an effort, and have a winch or two. Now with that, I'd like to give a little bit on the science of an actual pulley. So, believe it or not, a pulley, you use, you use a pulley everywhere. Like, with your blinders, or with your cranes, like construction, with elevators, and many, many more, even flagpoles. And I could list a dozen, but really I don't have time for that in this video. So, you use a pulley everywhere. And now, the basic things of a pulley. Let's give, let's think on an example of an elevator, right? An elevator has, carries a box which people go into. That would be called a load in the pulley. Then the elevator has a little string. You don't see it, but there's a string in the elevator. And that, and when it pulls on the string with the motor or whatnot, that is called the effort when it pulls on a string. Then the thing that it pulls on with all the gears and the wheels, the rope is hung onto something. It kind of like a wheel. That is called the pulley wheel or the pulley. Now, if you don't understand that, well, you've been to a desert before, maybe not, but you know a desert, right? There's a well where you take up the water, take up the water bucket so that you can be hydrated in the long walk of the desert. First, if you, there's a cone in the well, if you look under it, you'll see a me metallic wheel or wheel. That is the pulley wheel. Then the bucket in which you carry the water is low, like when you lift it up. And the rope that you're pulling, you're making effort. You're pulling the rope. So now you've learned three things in the pulley. The load, the pulley wheel, and the effort. Now, I'd like to give a few other things about the pulley. If you're to put two pulleys on the other hand, two pulleys, one, one pulley and another pulley, the force would be reduced, the effort you put would be reduced by that much. What I mean to say is that if you put two pulleys, one pulley here, so first if you will put one pulley, you might, and you're lifting like a super heavy load, like, I don't know, of 140 kgs, you're like, oh, this is so heavy. And then if you put like four, another pulley, like, okay, this is a little easier because if you put on two pulleys, the rope hangs on two pulleys. This one is moving. It's helping the rope go up. And when it helps the rope go up, it reduces the force that you give. But here's the tip. I'm pulling so long. Even though it's helping me so much, I feel like I've been pulling forever. This length of rope is so long. Yeah, so what I mean to say is like this rope, if, if it's not this scenario right over here, if to pull the load fully up, like all the way up, height, maximum height, you would still have to pull the rope extra length because it would have to fit over this, then this length, and then all the way down. So that'd be a lot of pulling. Oh my gosh, having a long day at work. I think I might as well take a nap. Yeah, good guy. So... Yeah, that's one thing. And then, now I'd like to talk about 
my pulley that I have right over here. So, if you might not know, I've used some other things than just a regular pulley. So first, using this winch, this spinny thing, I made a simple rope and pulled a heavy black box, Lego. Then, then I started, wanted to make it a little bit easier because if you pull it with gears, it's a little bit easier. Might seem hard at first, but really it's a lot easier than pulling. So, like that, I put some gears, made a second winch. I made a second winch, okay? And these gears, out, out of just gears, which pulls length to this rope. Now, I want to clarify that I have two pulleys, but first of all, I don't need to pull longer because I'm using the same length of rope. So, because the rope just ends here, it would not go down because I'm using gears. I really like that. And second, when I finally put the second winch, I discovered that this one was not moving anymore. So, I mean, not much. So it's not really helping me a lot. He... Then I made a series of channels of gears that goes all the way down. And then it connects to the special gear called the bevel gear. The bevel gear. I don't know how you pronounce it. So, the bevel gear can like change the change the rotation axis of a gear train. And to put that in simple words, what I mean to say is that first you see like the gears on the ground, right? You see them rotating on the ground on the desert, right? Then with this special gear. They have like special interlocking teeth. And then now you see the gears rotating sideways, upwards. Before they were on the ground, but now they're like upwards. That's what a bevel gear basically does. And it could make it go downwards too, if you wanted to. So, yeah. And I'm... Just one tip about gears. A smaller gear would move a bigger gear slowly. Like if I put a small gear here, this one would be moving really slowly right now. Not really, but sort of. But if this big gear, big gears move smaller gears faster. Like, if I have to spin this gear, this gear would move even extra faster than the one I would be rotating right here. Like, you see on a bicycle, right? On a bicycle, when you ride a bicycle, I don't know if you have this, maybe not all of you, but some of you have, like, different gears on the bicycle, right? Smaller, bigger gears at the back wheel. So with a chain, a chain, when you move the pedals on your first gear, with the chain, the, the pedals move a gear, and with the chain, it moves a back gear. And the back gear moves the back wheel, and then that moves like the whole thing. You go, right? And then imagine you're going up a steep hill, and you're like, need a lot of force. Like, it's really hard. And... You didn't have any gears to change it, so you're like, ah, so, so hard. This is really, really hard. I'm sweating. And then your friend has multiple gears, and I'm like, ah, this is so easy. Even though it might be the same as a lover, I'm like, she love him. So, yeah, that, the reason why you might see that happen sometimes is the gears, when you rotate them, a smaller gear a smaller gear moves the wheel more faster, 
her rotation. <clears throat> because when you rotate your, it's called the dri dri driver gear, driver gear, when you, the one that you move with pedals, when you move that one, it moves the chain like more because a smaller gear moves more per rotation than the driver gear because it's smaller. It, it's radius, the radius of the gear, that means how, like, how long it is in each direction, that would be like extra small. So when it rotates, it would be like an easier distance to accomplish. And that's why it would be really easier and you would see your friend moving up a steep hill really fast when you had multiple gears to switch on. Now that was just a tip. Then right over here, I call this the switch gear because I literally put a switch on it. And when I move this gear anti-clockwise, then the load starts moving up. See all these, all my buddies are moving. Big and small. Now, I would like to introduce a few other things about my pulley. So first of all, this everything you might have noticed, or if you still are a little confused, everything in this pulley is made out of Lego. Every single thing. Because honestly, I have a, there might be other people out there, and if they do, I totally respect that. I have a good experience with Lego. You know, I've been building so many things from the start that I can build, well, lots of things if I just think clearly. And I know other people can do this as well. So if you can, you can try this at home. Then I, so the load is the heavy black box, and then, <sighs> explain on already. Yeah. So I also have the airplane right over here. And a tiny, I know an airplane would not be able to travel through a construction site and crash. Mostly in every country, it's not. But you could think of this as a tiny old fashioned airplane that the Wright brothers built. It's like a small jet that flying by. Then he over here, I have different bushes. Well, I tried to make it look natural because my teacher said that if I was done, I could add a little decorations. So I added some fauna flowers and bushes and the desert so like that my pulley was made and I worked really hard on this well I built it really quickly but you know it sort of took a lot of design thinking because first I already had a plan to use it with gears but then once I made the simple pulley, everything changed, and I had to outthink my whole gear again. And then it it took some time for, for me to know what what gears would really fit and would really fit onto each other. And then using the Bevo gear, and I had to make some modifications because sometimes when I was spinning this gear, the Bevo gear had not such a strong connection. So it was cranking, and that's why I built this very long axle right over here. And, well, yeah, I had to get a lot of pieces. So, this is my pulley, right? And now you know the basic science of a pulley. 